air conditioning on the 2001 Toyota Tacoma. So this was in a front end collision. As you can see, they replaced the whole core support around here from the spot welds that you could see from the new panel being put on. So that meant the air conditioning had to come out. But they replaced it with their original type condenser all the way back from 2000, which was absolutely horrible. So you have a fin count for every inch, you only have 12 fins. I mean, you almost cannot get much worse than this. This has got to be one of the worst condensers on the planet when you get down to 12 fins an inch. So you can go online and word search in Google 2001 Toyota Tacoma parallel flow condenser. And you can come up, here's Cardio or Cartier or whatever the name of that company is, but there's other companies. All they do is resell condensers. They don't actually manufacture it. They go to a overseas distributor and import it. But that's a parallel flow condenser that you can upgrade your, this is an old tube serpentine. So this is just one tube. That's a flat tube and it just goes in an S all the way down. There's only one path. So you can upgrade it to a parallel flow condenser and sometimes you'll find on some of these aftermarket ones, I'm not great about aftermarket, but in this case it's an upgrade. You might have to do some notching out or moving around. You find out when you get aftermarket parts, they don't always perfectly fit. So you might have to do an upgrade. Usually I'm not in the aftermarket, but when it comes from upgrading your condenser for better hot weather performance going parallel over an old serpentine from the 1960s that's the original design you would see these on like a 66 mustang uh, upgrading from that to a parallel is definitely a step up and in some cases uh, you'll find some aftermarket condensers if there was room they might even already have the receiver dryer on the side or the big receiver dryer or the bottle receiver dryer and if the original equipment had room like look at all this room over here there's room for a internally mounted receiver dryer that can have the bottle right here because you see all this room it uptakes so they can even have one that could be mounted right on the condenser you can have that style now there's a lot of things you can do but upgrading over something like that by searching your year make model vehicle on google and then looking under sales shopping and looking for uh you know parallel flow condensers to replace old vehicles from the 60s 70s and early 90s because at this time here we got an r134 system but we still have 12 fins per inch which is wasn't a good situation uh, but you will have to adjust the refrigerant charge when you go over to a parallel flow condenser that's another topic for another day another discussion because that takes a little experience or you guess and sometimes you get it wrong and sometimes you burn up a compressor so all right so i'm getting ready here i have it on the vacuum pump and uh this is ready to fill i'll see you guys in the meantime but that's my topic for today is upgrading condensers to newer parallel flow condensers see you guys yeah it would work much better in hot weather if it had a parallel flow